Have you ever wondered if we as a species could transform Mars into our second home? As we venture into the cosmos, Mars stands as a formidable challenge, its harsh conditions and vast distance from Earth seemingly insurmountable. The red planet's thin atmosphere, extreme cold and barren landscape make the concept of human habitation appear almost impossible. But as we gaze upon the stark, rust-colored horizon, a question arises. But what if we could make it possible? What if the key to this monumental task lies within our minds? History is replete with examples where a strong belief in success has led to monumental achievements. Take, for instance, the Apollo moon landing. It was the late 60s, a time when technology was far from what we have today. Yet, the audacious dream of setting foot on the moon was made a reality by the unwavering conviction of scientists, astronauts, and a nation. Ignited by President Kennedy's bold assertion that we choose to go to the moon not because it's easy, but because it's hard, this vision was brought to life. The Apollo mission didn't just land a man on the moon, it landed a powerful testament to the might of human conviction. Fast forward a few decades to the Mars rover missions. Akin to the moon landing, these missions were propelled by the steadfast belief of the teams behind them. The scientists and engineers knew the challenges of landing a rover on a distant planet were enormous, but their conviction never wavered. They believed they could, and so they did. The rover's spirit, opportunity, and curiosity have since sent back invaluable data, broadening our understanding of the red planet. In both these instances, it was the power of conviction that turned the impossible into reality. The unyielding belief in success, despite the odds, has time and again proven to be a catalyst for monumental achievements in space exploration. So, if the power of belief could get us to the moon and rovers on Mars, why not a human colony on the red planet? Enter the law of assumption, a principle suggesting that assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled can bring about its realization. Let's break it down. The law of assumption is a psychological theory that proposes, if you wholeheartedly believe in a desired outcome, your subconscious mind will work to make it a reality. It's about asserting your will, not as a dream, but as an existing fact. So how does this apply to colonizing Mars? Well, it's simple. We start by assuming that Mars colonization is not a far-fetched sci-fi concept, but a reality. We live, breathe and work with the conviction that life on Mars is a fact of our present, not a possibility of our future. This mindset, this unwavering belief, will fuel our endeavors, igniting innovation and accelerating progress. By adopting this mindset, we might just be able to turn the impossible into the possible. Imagine a future where we have successfully colonized Mars, where the red planet is no longer a distant barren land, but a thriving human settlement. It sounds fantastical, but it's within our grasp. The key to this grand dream lies not just in our technological prowess, but in our collective mindset. Just as throughout history, belief in success has propelled humanity to unprecedented heights, so too could the law of assumption carry us to Mars. Picture billions of minds united in the assumption that we will not just survive, but thrive on Mars. This collective belief, this shared vision, has the power to accelerate our journey to the Red Planet. It is not just about building rockets or developing technology, it's also about cultivating a mindset of success, of shared belief in our ability to conquer the seemingly impossible. The journey to Mars is not just a physical one, but a psychological one as well. And with the right mindset, who knows what we could achieve?